Today I actually have some good news regarding the future supply of GPUs. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Brobot. Brobot is a free, super fast program that scours the internet searching for restocks of the latest GPUs, CPUs, and consoles to help you find what you're looking for before it goes out of stock. Thanks to Brobot, I was finally able to purchase a PS5 due to its extremely fast speed and in my case, I noticed it was actually minutes faster than all other popular bots I've tried. So if you're looking for a tool that can help you secure that new GPU, CPU, or console, be sure to click the Discord and Telegram links in the description below to find out more. So as you may have noticed, it's been incredibly difficult to get any new GPUs for quite a long time. However, there's been a few pieces of information that have come out recently that point to things actually getting significantly better going forward into the future. So let's first go ahead and talk about that first piece of information, which comes from Tom's Hardware, which by the way, there will be links to all my sources in the description below. But according to Tom's Hardware, TSMC or the Taiwanese Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, which by the way is one of the biggest manufacturing companies that helps create both GPUs and CPUs, will be opening up a $12 billion factory in the United States with the help of the US government. Now, of course, that's really huge news as that could help supply significantly, and they go into detail in their article by stating, quote, construction of the fab is scheduled to start in 2021, and the fab is projected to start high volume production in 2024. The initial production capacity target of the facility is about 20,000 wafer stars per month, and one of the nodes to be used there is TSMC's 5 nanometer, which probably means N5, as well as N5P fabrication technologies. They then go on to state TSMC's 3 nanometer technology is expected to enter volume production in the second half of 2022 in Taiwan, and so far the company has announced no plans to bring it to the US subsidiary. So yeah, it's great to hear that TSMC is going to be upping their production not only in Taiwan, but they're also going to be moving some of their facilities into the US as well, because, you know, having some of that production capabilities in the US could actually allow for some of those tariffs to be reduced or eliminated. Uh, on top of that, it's just going to be easier and quicker to ship things over there as well as there are some other places that do uh, work with silicon in the US and around those areas as well, such as Intel. So yeah, there's already kind of a trade route that's been established there. So that should make things a little bit easier. And hopefully once things get started up there, this should allow them to produce a lot more wafers, allowing for companies such as AMD to produce more GPUs and CPUs as well. So yeah, this is good news. But on top of that, we have another story that comes from MarketWatch that states that the United States president just, quote, signed an executive order that aims for reviews of the supply chains for semiconductors and other critical goods. So yeah, that's good to hear as well as it looks like the U.S. government is taking an interest in the chip shortages that are going around as it's not only affecting the PC gaming industry, but it's also affecting other industries such as the car industry. I believe they're actually uh, facing a chip shortage as well right now. So clearly it's having some effects on the, the U.S. economy that they definitely want to try and resolve if they can. Now, I'm not entirely sure what they're going to be doing about this, uh, but it could end up leading to more people like TSMC opening up more facilities in the United States and just expanding their facilities overall, which of course could allow for more GPUs and CPUs to be created by companies such as AMD. Now, of course, all of this stuff is really only going to affect, you know, maybe AMD and Intel and other companies that maybe work for car manufacturers. And this really wouldn't be affecting, say, NVIDIA right now, at least not until Samsung actually um, opens up more facilities in the US, which they could potentially do. However, we don't know if that's going to happen or if they are going to be expanding. However, there's one more piece of information that actually would affect NVIDIA that was posted online a while back. Now, this information uh, came from Tweaktown where they stated that, quote, NVIDIA has reportedly signed a new deal with Samsung for the production of more Ampere GPUs on the 8 nanometer process technology. Now, like I mentioned, this was posted online a little while ago, so this may actually be taking effect soon, so we'll have to see what happens on that front. But if this does turn out to be true, then yeah, uh, Samsung could actually be producing more chips for NVIDIA, and hopefully that does end up happening because then, you know, between these three different stories, we could be looking at supply actually increasing uh, fairly shortly here. Now, I know that it mentioned on the whole TSMC thing that the um, high volume capacity of the five nanometer chips in the US may take up to 2024 before that starts hitting. So that's a little bit of a ways out here still. And of course, the executive order that was just signed, yeah, that could take some time as well. However, like I mentioned, uh, the whole Samsung deal could actually be happening fairly shortly here. We'll see what happens uh, with that whole thing. Maybe over the next couple of months here, we could be seeing an increase in the amount of uh, stock that's available to both you know gamers as well as anyone else who's looking for any stock of GPUs. So hopefully that does end up happening. But there's also a few other factors I want to talk about, which I have mentioned in the past, that I do believe are going to allow for an increase of stock that's available, or at the very least should allow you to get your hands on something. Maybe stock doesn't actually increase, but your chances of being able to get something may actually go up. So the first thing I want to talk about is that a lot of people are going to be going back to work soon. So as more people go back to work and are not stuck inside, well, that could 
could lead to a lot less people trying to buy GPUs because with everyone stuck inside right now, it's pretty clear that that's led to a huge increase in the amount of people who do want to get into PC gaming. So yeah, that's put a huge amount of strain on the supply that's available right now. So again, if a lot of those people actually do end up going back to work, they're not stuck inside all the time. Maybe they start going on vacations that could end up leading to less strain on the whole supply chain. And I do think that that is going to end up happening. And honestly, I think we could see the effects of this within the next two to three months. And then there's one other thing that actually does affect the supply chain. And of course, that would be the Chinese New Year. Now, we just got through the Chinese New Year not too long ago. Again, I mentioned this in the past in a previous video. However, you know, getting past the Chinese New Year here, we should be getting close to a time in which we can see the effects of the supply chain getting back to normal. Because during the Chinese New Year, uh, if you don't know anything about it, you know, a lot of people do take a long time off of work. And of course, it does affect the supply chain as a lot of the supplies do end up coming from China. So again, once that whole thing got over, you know, the supply chain should start returning to normal on that front. And I think that's a big reason as to why the last same month, a uh, month and a half, it was really, really difficult to get cards. I mean, it has been pretty difficult for some time. However, it seems like last month things were even more difficult than usual. But if you take everything into account that I just talked about, so we take a look at, you know, TSMC expanding both their three nanometer and five nanometer capacity, both in Taiwan as well as in the U.S., you take into account uh, that the U.S. president just signed an executive order to review the supply chain. And then you uh, take a look at the potential uh, Samsung deal that NVIDIA just signed for potentially more wafers. And then we talk about people going back to work, uh, being able to travel again, not just sitting at home with all this money sitting in their pocket. You know, a lot of people just getting uh, money from the government that they don't really know what to do with. So they're sitting there like, OK, uh, I guess I can't go on any vacations. Maybe I'll just spend it on technology with that, you know, potentially depleting a little bit. And then on top of that, like I just mentioned, we just got through the Chinese New Year. I think that all these various different factors are going to lead again within the next two to three months, a supply problem should be getting a lot better. Now, of course, we aren't taking into account the whole Bitcoin situation. Uh, if that does end up getting worse, it could still be really, really difficult to get some sort of GPU, no matter if it's coming from AMD or NVIDIA. However, I do believe that even if Bitcoin and Ethereum still stay profitable, I think that all these various factors will make things at least a little bit easier for you to get a new GPU. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that things are going to get easier or do you think that things are going to get even worse? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.